Okay, you guys, so I didn't even know what today's topic was. I was just like, I don't know why this title's coming to me. But and then Vanessa just confirmed. I'm like, she's like, oh, this is what I put in my journal today or, or something along those lines. So I love how in tune we are. I'm like, I, I, I literally was like, I don't have any idea where I'm going with this title. I mean, like I did, but like I just received it. So what did and you put in your journal? Where, 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 is this, where are we going with this today, Vanessa? Girl, first of all, this, this world today, like I guess like on this live, hey, you guys over here, I guess I'm like this mosaic kind of artistic thing happening whenever I move. Like it's, I wish we could send a picture in the chat. Like I look like a mosaic, I guess, or like a painting. Trip. Yeah. So, so, weird. so, so I, everybody that's tuning in on LinkedIn and YouTube, we're not sure what's going on with Vanessa on screen. So if, if she looks like a cartoon caricature or painting, like I'm real. Some... I'm real. <laughs> I'm <a student. laughs> but no, I love this. Happy Friday all, you know, it's so, it's so fun. Sarah and I are all about in flow organic conversations. These kind of co like come up and we don't necessarily talk about it beforehand. We just roll with it. But she sent that over. I was like, oh, my God, of course. Literally, this morning, I wrote in my journal, and I talked to a friend about this idea of, like, having it all, having it all, being your fullest expression. And what this tells me is that this has to be talked about because other people in the world, the conscious, must be feeling this. So I'm really, really pumped to dive in with this whole idea of, like, how do you feel when we say, like, yes, you can have it all. You can have the and do all parts of you, all desires of your hearts even bigger than I think our human mind can comprehend. But the idea of having it all, feeling safe to have it all, and feeling capable to have it all is like what literally is coming up in this moment. I think a lot of people, and it goes back to, we talk about a lot of stuff we see in our clients too. You know, we have these big dreams, these big successes we want. And then, and then it's like, oh God, wait, can I actually like handle it? The responsibility, am I capable enough to expand that far and have all the things I want? And like, what would that actually look like? So I'm so pumped to one, remind us all that yes, 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 yes. We are safe to have it all. We are more than capable to have it all. And the fact that you're even resonating or hopping on in this moment means I believe like you, some part of you has that desire. So let's expand that. Let's question that. Let's get into that. So yeah, it was just, it was so cool, girl. I literally wrote that out this morning and just talking with another friend about it and just this whole idea of having it all and what that looks like. Mm, yeah, and then the and the real key word here to answer Damien's question, the title is, and then she decided she was meant to have it all, right? And the key word here is decided. It is a moment of decision where you just get to decide, are you gonna be the girl that sits on the sidelines with a case of FOMO looking at everybody else live their best life and create their dream soul business and, and uh, the, whatever that looks like on the back end for you, creating the abundance or prosperity, whatever that looks like for you, freedom, time, money, travel, success, friends, more leisure time, all of the things, right? You get to decide in the moment now, and there's a clicking that comes into place. And it's magical to see this within our clients when they click into place and they finally just decide. Enough with the excuses, enough with the past stories, enough with the dragging the past into the current present moment, trying to... I just put a post out on Instagram about this, you know, really making fear-based decisions of how to like safeguard their way through creating their business and creating their dream life, like letting fear be in the driver's seat, right? Like really making a fear-based decisions around what should I be putting out? What message can I share? How should I share it? What kind of price should I charge? Like everything is until you can flip out of that fear-based decision-making and finally just decide and go all in on yourself, there is a leap of faith on yourself internally, energetically, which then also creates the ripple effect in the 3D physical world where you will be challenged to take that, that leap on yourself, right? And this can be in all areas. It's not just business. It's love. It's, it's relationships. It's all of these things. You have to be willing to take that leap of faith at some point and just decide but I don't know how else to describe it. The key word that was coming through is decision, right? It really can happen in a moment. But then once you decide and you click into this moment, you click into this unwaveringly committed, I don't know if unwaveringly is a word, but I'm making it up. <laughs> we, just, it we just made it a word. Uh, <laughs> we just made it a word. Unwaver, unwaveringly committed, right, to your decision. And then accepting nothing less than that, accepting, this is really getting really clear on your boundaries and your, what Vanessa and I refer to as drawing that energetic line in the sand and being like, this is what I'm available for. And I don't give a shit what else comes my way. If it's not in alignment with that, if it's not a hell yes, 
if it's not what truly lights me up, if it's not calling in the abundance or the prosperity or the love or the, mm -hmm. or the sense of, you know, like all the things that you want, then it's a no. It's really mm -hmm. just a no. It's really that simple and making that decision. Because once you do make that decision, you know, it takes a little bit of time for everyone in your environment and the situations that you've already created that are based on past thoughts, based on past reactions and, and everything like that to repopulate to this new intention that you just set for yourself, this new energetic set point. Mm -hmm. And so as everything else is up leveling around you, <laughs> Vanessa, chime in, go ahead, go ahead. I just want to say in. like, what I'm like, this is so, so fun because I love, okay, what am I trying to say? Sarah and I always talk about this decision. It's a decision. It literally can be that quick. However, I've noticed, I want to hear your thoughts, girl. Like she said, you are saying so much good stuff. So I, we are making, when the idea first comes to you and like a lot of our clients, like, oh, it'd be fun. Like I would love to have a business. I would love to do that. Can we feel like the energy around how light that is? So it comes to us, this idea, like, oh, I would love to have it all. Or I'd love, I'd love to have this. There's so much light in you because that I, like we believe that idea is dropped into you from source. It's already yours. And then what Sarah just said is key. The decisions made then you get it then. Right. But then our work is really is breaking down all of like the past borders of belief from all the other people that have done businesses and all the things that they have said about it. All the other people that have done have had it all and like the struggles that came with, am I making sense? Like how, it's so, mm -hmm. so fun when like that decision is so quick and it comes so light, easy, breezy, fun. And then literally, I always like to say, if you have something like that, like keep it to yourself so you don't get that boundary cross of people putting their influence from their perspective, their influence of their situation, because this is yours. This is your baby. You have a desire. Queens, we see you. Legends, we see you to have it all, to make an impact. That's already yours. It came to your heart for a reason. Own that. Protect mm. that. Keep it safe. Because the decision's made, right? It's done. It's already done. And then you have to literally remind yourself in unwavering faith, like Sarah just said, that's how you walk in that unwavering faith, like it's already done. Ah, oh, I hope that like came out right. I just had like a splur of stuff, but it's really powerful. Really powerful. Yeah, especially when it, if, it, if you're surrounded in an environment where it's not supported, which some, some of our clients are in that space where maybe their, their dreams and their desires and things like that aren't supported you know, you're naturally going to call in more of your soul family that does support you on, you know, unconditionally as you move into this space. And, you know, a lot of times it's your family that doesn't get it. It's a lot of times it's people that are really close to you that don't get it. The ones that you would really want your, you know, the support from that don't get what you're doing or, or, or the, uh, you know, the dream that's on your heart and it's not their job to get it. And it's not your job to care whether or not they do. Mm. Let that land. And that like, oh girl, that's so, so good. And even I can feel some people like listening on the replay, like that triggers for a hot second because it's like, well, how can I not care what my family says? How can I not care? How can I just not care what people say? And we have to guys, like that's, that's, that's it. Mm, I'm having something else come up that, that you just said to my girl, maybe it'll come back. But let's even like, you know what, let's play while we, while we just talk for a second. If you have something that you love, like play the what if game, like what would it be like to have it all? What would it be like? What if I had it all? What would it be like if I had it all? And playing with that, having fun with that, right? Mm -hmm. Instead of letting this heaviness drop in, like, and the fear take over that self-sabotage, play mm -hmm. with it. Mm -hmm. Play with it. What does that feel like? What does that look like mm -hmm. for you? Allow yourself to dream beyond what you've you know, pigeon to hold yourself into potentially at this point, you know, because, you know, allowing yourself to go there is the first step, allowing yourself to go there and be like, what does that look like for me? What is it truly true? You know, like even when, when Vanessa and I are, you know, designing divine fan, like this is literally being created through us because we're dropped in and this is divinely guided. And what does that look like for us? What, if, what does it feel like for us? It feels like fun. It feels like freedom. It feels yeah. like flow. It feels like luxury. It feels like abundance. It feels like prosperity. It feels like getting paid to show up just to be us mm -hmm. and have mm -hmm. fucking fun doing it. That's what it feels like. You know, mm -hmm. what does it look like for you? It's going to be different for everybody. You know, what is your ideal what does it feel like? What does it look like to quote unquote, have it all? And it can be, it doesn't have to be, when we use the word luxury, we're using that to mean everybody's perception of that can be whatever it is. Luxury of time, leisure time, time with family, time with 
time to travel, just, you know, it could be dripping in diamonds or it could be just hanging out in the mountains camping. Like, I don't care. Like, what does it, it look like wait, for you to have it all? That, like, that's what I love so much. Like, that's important, girl. Like, I love, love, love. That goes with, with our, um, our value of freedom, too, and, like, freedom for, for full expression. Like, that's what I love so much. I'm just going to, I'm going to praise divine femme for a hot second because I feel like so many people effort. <laughs> well, no, and I, I came from this world too, where so many people try to effort and say like, oh, my like luxury has to look like this or my way is the right way. I have really, really dropped into, we have dropped into ourself where it, that's, that's the part of, of your fullest expression of the freedom in your soul that you get to come here to this earth to play in. Like you're, design life your your design life your design fullest expression your design luxury your design freedom it's so fun to know whatever's on your heart is is already yours and that's the that's that's the freedom in creating yourself creating your soul business your own brand like it it lights you up and it doesn't have to look like anyone else but like remembering that you are safe and free to have it all to create your mm -hmm. fullest life that's what I think gets me so lit to remind people because we come into this world and think about like going back to kids. When we, when we play as kids, we don't sit here and like dream about some broken down half-assed car. We dream of like Lamborghinis and like Barbie was <laughs> going up in some like podunk, you know, shack. in a friggin' mansion. Like we talked about this before. Like, so we come here, I have chills right now. We come here remembering that it's all just energy. We live in this overflowing abundant world, right? And it's all equal. And we are the ones that just, we let things pivot us to condense that, to dim that light, to dim that shine. And it comes, and again, we speak from what we know. I've come from that and I've had to do the work to really turn that around. And even if people still have an opinion or you have family that doesn't agree or understand, like Sarah said, bring it full circle, love them. We can love our friends, our family, the people that don't understand, bless them. But we don't even have to worry about that or put energy to it because they're in their own perspective. And you have that mission, especially the people we work with, for a reason. And it's almost like it's like your, like your responsibility to shine it for the world, right? Because like Sarah said, bringing it last full circle is so fun. It's not even yours. It's all sources. It's all divine, ready, ready now to express through you. Like that gets my soul so fucking lit. When you think of this higher being, we work with spiritual laws that is unlimited in like the creativity in you is inexhaustible because you are of source. So imagine what that would look like, like let your imagination run wild where there is just, if you unleash that, if you if fully, you unleash fully unleash that. it. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, mm -hmm. girl. Like, yes, you get like, this. no, that was, that so was, fun. that was just the word. That was just the word. I don't want to interrupt. That was just the word, like mm -hmm. fully, fully unleashing that, like allowing that creative expression to come through you unapologetically and fully, fully embracing that and just deciding that this is how it is for you. Yeah. And you get to create from source, you get to create magical shit from soul and people are gonna show up and they're gonna pay you for it. And you're gonna live an abundantly, wildly successful in your own right life because you, that's just the way the universe works. There's nothing, there's no guilt around that. There's no shame around that. There's no attachment to it. It's just showing up and, and actually just having fun for the sake of having fun, but making the decision that you get to do that. Mm -hmm. Making the decision and then recognizing anything in the way that comes up after that decision is made because your mind is going to try to lie to you. Your mind and your reality at current present moment until the things start to shift and, and recalibrate to this new frequency set point that you just, you just, uh, um, you know, embodied. Your mind's mm -hmm. going to lie to you. The people around you are still going to hold you to previous versions of yourself, right? Your boundaries are going to be challenged to be up leveled and you're, you're going mm -hmm. to, this is where the quote unquote work is, right? Is for you to come into full on believing this at your core on a subconscious and a conscious level. This is just how it is. It gets to be this easy for you and you do get to have it all. There seems to be this thing where people like to trade off success for, for their freedom or trade off money for, you know, their time or think that they have to, they have to work really hard in order to achieve something. And, this is the old paradigm way of doing things, you guys. And mm -hmm. the more you, and not everybody's meant to be a walking, talking, living, breathing example of this in this lifetime. I'm just going to say it. Not everybody is meant to, but if you are hearing this message and this resonates with you, mm -hmm. you are, you are meant to mm -hmm. 
live your most fullest expression, your most authentic, fullest expression. Fuck the perfectionism. Mm -hmm. Fuck all the judgment and the criticisms and the comparing and all of that. You are meant to walk your most epic life path mm -hmm. in this moment. If, you've, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon your soul purpose, you know, like something that you feel so divinely guided in your heart to create that you know is calling you from the inside out, it's not even your decision. It's literally not even a choice. It's not even a choice for me to make this decision because I'm not in alignment with my calling. It's not a decision. It's not something that I had to find. It's something that found me mm -hmm. and I answered the call. And I remember the moment that I answered the call it was in 2013 in my bedroom while I was in meditation. And I recognized the calling that was coming through and I accepted it. And it was, mm -hmm. it was that's a whole nother video, you guys. But I remember when I accepted that and I knew that everything in my life was going to be recalibrated around me and all the falsehoods were going to fall away and all the lies that I built my life around and all the, all the untruths that I built my life around were going to come, were going to come for me. <laughs> they were going to come for me and they did. And I went through so many dark nights of the soul and so many moments of depression or sadness or grief or loss or, um, coming to Jesus moments, I guess you could call it, right? And mm -hmm. because everything that is not built on truth needs to fall away. Mm. And it's only painful and, and suffering to the degree that you cling to it as some kind of false identity for yourself. But when you make this decision, when you make this bold decision, bring it on universe. I'm here for this. This is what I want. This is what I'm ready for. Bring it on. Be careful when you use those words. I've used those words before. And what comes after that is going to prepare you for everything that you are meant to experience in this lifetime. And it won't always look pretty, but it will be the best thing for you. And in hindsight, looking back, you will know exactly why it had to go that way. So be prepared for what you're calling in when you make this decision. And it doesn't have to, I'm not trying to plant seeds of fear. This isn't fear-based. This is recognizing that you are in control here because to the degree that you attach yourself to the things that are crumbling away, that are paving the way, paving mm -hmm. your path in gold for everything that's meant for you, the, the, we're here to remind you that you don't have to cling to this false sense of identity or these external validations from your friends or your family or the things that are keeping you stuck in this past previous version of yourself. This is, mm -hmm. you know, we work with the, you know, women that are on the spiritual path, divine feminine, you know, leaders, they're, they're no, they're, they're, they're no um, stranger to this process of a dark night of the soul or an ego death or, or this or that. So I know if you're resonating with us, I know I'm speaking your language recognize when you are at this point and you make that decision everything that comes after that is serving you and you won't know it until you look back in hindsight but you will be grateful that it went that way because you are being prepared for you're being prepared for greatness you're being prepared for all of the success and all of the abundance and prosperity mm -hmm. that you are meant to show up and be a walking talking living breathing example of that this is actually how life gets to be there are plenty of examples in the world that are fear-based lifestyles driven by fear and driven by um, all of these untruths and, and, and plenty of examples of success at the expense of your, of your life or expense of your health or at the expense of your time with your loved ones or at the expense of you know, your own freedom. You're not here to be an example of that if you're resonating with Vanessa and I, not even for a fucking second. And it's a decision that just has to be clicking in internally. And then you do everything that follows that is divinely guided. You take one little, one little breadcrumb, one little spiritual breadcrumb after the next, and you just keep showing up for yourself. And you literally train your mind to ignore anything that is, that is a suggestion of lack in your experience and that does not support your highest vision for yourself. It's a lie. It's a lie. Your reality will lie, your senses will lie, your mind will lie until it ca you catch up with yourself. Yeah. Until you catch up with yourself and fully, fully embody what it is you're calling in, you're going to see evidence of all of the different things that are going to lie to you of how it's not possible mm -hmm. or how it won't work or why it's too big or why it's too scary or all of the other things that keep you from shying away, from fully, fully, mm -hmm. fully stepping into your most 
quote unquote, successful self, whatever that means to you? Girl, day, um, I'm getting like teary eyed too, because again, like I can, we can feel you like Sarah and I literally to get to divine fem had to go through some crumbling. And when you ask, you will get that prayer. And just mm. let me hold space for you. I like, I can't even put into words on the other side of when you step into what you are fully your divine right path. Mm -hmm. Like there are no human words for how magical we use the word magic a lot in this space how magical and in flow and fucking fun and bright and light and juicy and luxurious, like all, all the feels, all the highest vibration. Mm -hmm. But you have to decide, surrender, not be attached, but you follow those breadcrumbs with unwavering faith and you expect mm -hmm. that you're capable because you're of source. Mm. So good. And it's, it's just that simple. And the people that step and move past that courage on the other side of that awaits the promised land that we were promised coming into this world. So can you be brave enough to do that now? All we have is now, like truly, truly, truly. Oh, I have chills. You guys, so good. you got so much chills. value. Like it's just, yeah, it's, and it's so fun. Like even in this brand, like, we are creating this together, but with you as well. Like there are so many people waking up. We'll, we'll kind of close it out and bring it full circle, especially in this time of the world where there's a shift into a new paradigm, a new world, a new consciousness. So the ones that know it and are part of that, tap into yourself, into your courage, into your sacral confidence, because you have a mission in this world and we need you. The consciousness, the consciousness needs you. And it's really, really freaking fun. And in that, mm -hmm. when you fully get to be yourself, you give the example to everyone else and you get to live your, your version of your most fun, luxurious, overflowing joy life. And then it becomes this ripple effect that you get to give permission to the other people that have felt that. So go first, be that mm -hmm. one, take that step. You can do it. Yeah. Okay. So good. So good. You guys, we want to wish you a fabulous weekend. We'd love your feedback. If you resonate with this, drop us a comment, follow us on Instagram, DM us Empress. If you're interested in our uh, luxury soul business yes. immersion that is in Scottsdale, the end of April, we can get you all the details for that. Also the link is in our bio on Instagram. So check that out. Uh, we'd love to have a chat with you in the DMs if you have any questions. So feel free to reach out if you're listening to this anywhere else on any of the other platforms or on the podcast. You're always going to be able to find the links either below or above the video or in the show notes. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you on our next live, which is always Wednesdays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Celebrating you guys. Epic work, divine leaders. This was fun. Love you guys. Thank this you so much. so fun. <laughs> Namaste. Cheers, love.